All right, so Soundcore by Anchor sent over this little portable speaker called the Motion 300. So I partnered with Soundcore for this video for me to unbox this thing, give you my first impressions, and see what this little guy can do. So this is going to be having 30 watts of stereo sound, a 13-hour playtime limit, which is pretty good, and also it's going to be rated IPX7 for its waterproofing. So anyway, let's get inside of this box. And boom, look at that. I can save my knife some work today. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this lid off and then let's go ahead and pull this off to the side because it does have this little strap right here that you can use it to hang it off of stuff. And I'm assuming this is going to be the USB-C charging cable. Yes, it is. So USB-C to USB-C. And now let's get this speaker fully undressed here. So where is the piece that I need to peel off. There it is. And I ain't gonna lie to you, this thing is looking pretty clean. So they sent over their black color, but they also make this in green and blue. And just taking a look at the top. Oh, I kind of like this here. They have this speckled pattern here to kind of break up just the straight up black. So I like that. But yeah, you find your touch buttons here, power button, Bluetooth button, your bass boost button there, and then also volume down, your play and pause button, and your volume up button. And where is that USB-C port? Oh, it's probably underneath this little cover right here. Boom, there we go. So yeah, here's the USB-C port. It will take around like five hours to get this thing fully charged. But if you are planning to get this wet or even if you're not, just always make sure this little flap is on there. So now you can go ahead and dunk this in some water and you'll be all good. And as I mentioned earlier, we have this little strap right here. So this does have a button. So you can basically just pull that off. And then now you can attach this to the outside of your bag or something. So you can just leave it hanging off of your bag and let the music play. Or you can just use this to make sure you always have this thing on you ready to go. And you do have some rubber feet here. So if you do want to stand this up vertically, you have some rubber feet there. And then also if you do want to lay this down horizontally, you have some feet here as well. And let me get this thing powered on. There we go. And so now I can go ahead and adjust the volume. I can hit play and pause to start playing some music. And then also I can adjust the kind of the sound quality as far as like the presets. So I have the sound core signature sound here, but I can also choose extra bass. I can choose voice if I am listening to like a podcast or something, or I can choose balance. And I didn't know that it had this feature, but it looks like it can detect whether it's lying down or you have it propped up. So let me go ahead and test it out here. So it shows that it is lying down. Let me stand it up. And boom, there it is. It actually recognized that. This is the first time that I've seen a speaker with this capability. It's pretty cool. And I'm thinking that this will allow this speaker to be able to adjust the audio depending on what position that it is in. So this is really cool. Let me go ahead and test it out one more time. Yeah, there it is. It's showing me that it is standing. And it looks like you do have a custom EQ here and you can go ahead and adjust this for when the speaker is standing up. So now you can move those sliders, but then also you can go down to when it is hanging like off of your bag or something using that little uh, clip. And then also when it is lying down, you can also adjust it this way too so that's pretty cool so let's go back and see what else that we have here so i think that's about it so you can actually power it off from here and then also in the settings you can go ahead and adjust the button brightness here at the top let's go ahead and test that out and right now it's on medium let's go to low let's go to high and also let's turn the lights off so if you are in a very dark environment in a tent or something like that you can go ahead and go blacked out there but i'm gonna keep it on medium and also you can choose to update the firmware and also choose how long this thing will last until it automatically turns itself off 10 65 and 20 minutes are your options all right so that's my quick little introduction here to this motion 300 now it's time for me to take this thing outside and go ahead and see what it can do and okay, so we're fast forwarding in time now, but I've been using this for about two to three weeks now. And easily the best part about this speaker is going to be how small and compact it is. It's super portable. Like I threw it in my water bottle pocket or my tripod pocket of my backpack and it slid in nicely. But of course you still have this strap and I did strap this to my backpack and went for a little bit of a walk, but the audio was still coming in loud and clear. So yeah, this is good for going on a walk or a hike or something like a gentle hike, but I wouldn't go running with this thing because the speaker might be bouncing around on your backpack a little bit but for nice kind of chill walks this thing will be good hanging off the uh the back of your backpack or something and i also did try like putting this thing flat on his back and that's like the 360 mode so if you put this like on a table and you have people sitting all around it they're going to get the same really good audio experience and so that actually does work so whatever the, the you know the software and stuff is doing i did hear a difference when i had it in that mode versus when i had this thing sitting upright and this particular mode when you do have it sitting upright is for 
or if like you're just trying to listen to it right like if you're just the only person there or maybe you have a couple of people and you're both like facing the speaker having it like that is going to be the ideal situation now there is no real way for me to give you a full experience of what the audio is with the speaker so i just have to use my words but i will say that the sound quality is for the size pretty impressive and this speaker really reminds me of like a mix between the sound core by anger x600 and also their motion boom plus speakers and i did a video on both of these speakers and the x600 is more of an indoor speaker but that has spatial audio really great sound quality but it's also portable and then with the motion boom plus you have some really good audio too but one of the main focuses with that is that it's very outdoorsy so it is going to be waterproof as well and then also it's going to have some really nice bass with it and very loud sound and so if those two speakers got together and made some <clears throat> audio waves this would be the the baby as the result of that you know what i might as well go ahead and hit play real quick and just let you hear a little bit of the audio quality so right now we're at about i don't know why i bit my lip like that I'm trying to be like ella cool J. but anyway <laughs> right now we're at about 50 percent we're at about 70 percent and i have to hold it away from me a little bit because it's really loud and we're gonna go up to 90. And 100, why not? I feel that bass in my hand when I'm holding this. So yeah, it gets loud, but the audio doesn't get distorted when you're listening at that high level. That's a very important thing with any type of speaker, but especially a little portable speaker where you might need to turn it up all the way because it might be on like a picnic table or something a little bit of ways away from you. But that audio remains pretty solid even at those high levels. All right, so I already accidentally got this thing wet as you can see, but let's do an official water test on camera here. So to test out this IPX7 rating here, I do have the little cover here. Where is it at on the side? It's completely plugged in to protect the USB-C port, but I can go ahead and dunk this in the water, give it a little bit of a shake. It doesn't like float like the uh, Motion Boom Plus, but you can drop this in a pool or something and you don't have to worry about anything going wrong with it. It still works. And if I press play, my video is going to stop on the uh, phone here, but it still will work after you get this thing wet. And it actually will work if you do have it in the water at the same time. Okay, so it's super bright out here, but let me do a distance test, shall we? So I have the speaker sitting down right here. The volume is at maximum 100%, and I'm going to walk across there and just really see how far I can go and still hear the music. So let me go ahead and press play. And that's gonna start going. And now <laughs> let me start crossing this water here. Hopefully I don't fall in. And I'm disturbing the peace a little bit here in Forest Park, St. Louis, but hey, I don't think it'd be too big of a deal. But yeah, I can easily still hear the music. Speakers all the way over there is a little bit dark. So let me go ahead and brighten this up for you. Oh, there I go. There's that pretty face. <laughs> but yeah, I can still hear the music. That thing is super loud. It's all the way over there. All right, so it's fading out a little bit, but like right here, I can still hear it and it is all the way over there. So this thing has some punch, has some volume. You can hear this from a long ways away. Oh, and I'm also impressive with just the Bluetooth range too. So my phone is in my pocket and it's still all the way over there too. So that's nice. Now I haven't used the full 13 hours of battery life with this. So I don't expect to use this unless I'm going camping with it all day long or something. But I've been using this for a few days like consistently and I haven't had to charge it just yet. So it's pretty long as far as the battery life. But yeah, the estimated up to 13 hours, you should be able to get pretty close to that. All right, so I think that's about it with this Motion 300. Everything but the price has been talked about. So yeah, the price of this speaker normally is going to be $79.99, but if you do get it before, I think like October 8th, the price will be $64.99. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be watching this video by then or if I even have it uploaded by then, but even at the normal price of $79.99, this is a really good steal of a deal as far as the quality that you're getting with the sound quality and also with this thing being durable and a really good outdoor speaker that you can also use indoors as well but I'm going to have a link down below in the description of this video. Check out that link. That'll take you to the product page. Uh, you can pick one up if you want to, or just see even some more information about this little speaker, but also be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this Motion 300, and also give this video a like if you did like it. But like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video, and I'm going to leave with some outro music, so let me go ahead and start playing that. All right, I'll catch you later.
Peace. And I bit my lip again. I don't know why. <laughs>